need something a little bit more solid than that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're about to get started, everybody. Again, we want to welcome you all to our baptism event 2023 at Christian Way Ministries. This is one of our most exciting times of the year where we get to do our small part of the Great Commission, where we get to baptize in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So we want to welcome you all to 2500 Shore Drive right here at First Landing State Park. And we're excited about all of the participants that are going to be dedicating their life to the Lord Jesus Christ through the participation of their baptism. So let's praise the Lord today. Let's praise the Lord today. And before we get started, we are going to pray real quick, and then we're just going to invite the presence of the Holy Spirit uh, into our hearts and into our event, um, because we know that without God, none of this is possible. So if you will join with me in prayer, Father God, it's only by your grace it's only by your mercy, it's only by the salvation that you provided to us through the Lord Jesus Christ that we are here today at First Landing State Park in Virginia Beach. Father God, we are just so blessed beyond our imagination, Father God, to be able to witness what our eyes are currently getting ready to see. These individuals who are going to profess Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and make a commitment through their baptism in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So Father God, we invite the presence of your spirit into their hearts, into our event, Father God. Help us to always remember that this is all you're doing. This is a work of you, Father God. You created this baptism. You created this day. These are your people, Father God, and it's all about you, and we're giving you all the glory. So, Father God, have your way in our hearts. Have your way in our baptism, Father God, and we're praying, Lord, that you will enable those that are going to be baptized today to be consistent and and faithful to their baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, Father God, we commit this event to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 So, at this time, I want to invite the elders. I got two and minister right here to come on down. Who is going to be our first participant? Huh? Well, we want to get. Is it too much? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Whoever comes first to the water. Whoever comes first to the water, okay? We got. And you're, Okay. We have Tawana, is it Tucker? Tawana Tucker, my, my cousin. I don't know if it's second, third, fourth, but we got Tawana here. And she's going to dedicate her life to the Lord Jesus Christ and be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We're so excited for you. And we're praying for your commitment and your relationship with the Lord. And that you will honor your baptism moving forward now that you've heard the preach word and you know what's required of you. Amen? Amen. All right, well, come on, follow us down here. Day one. Day. Day, one? day one. Thanks for reminding us.
climax of what we do as a ministry, being able to baptize God's people into the family of God. So this is what it's really about, and us being all able to witness this, not only our church, but everybody else here in the public getting ready to witness baptism. So God is good. Next up, come on, come on over here in the middle. Hey, yeah, your friend said it today. We got Latoya Tucker, a brother. Is she a day one, too? She a day one. She a day one, too. Latoya Tucker, we love her so much. And we've been praying for the Tucker family, but she's also going to commit her life to the Lord Jesus Christ in baptism. And we're so excited for your commitment that you're going to make today. And we want to make sure you understand the magnitude of that commitment. And now, when you make this commitment, you're going to be alone. And it's not going to be easy in the beginning, but through your faith, through your commitment, and through your dedication, and being intentional, you're going to be all things are possible with God. It's a miracle that we're here today. Amen. It's a miracle. God is so good. Come on, Jack. You want to take me? 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 Glory, 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 glory. Remember, no one can enter into the kingdom of God unless they are born again 
by water and by the spirit. So this becomes your new spiritual birthday. Are you ready? All right, come on, sister Pam. Come on down. Come on down. Come on Hey, you know what? Earrings. Give them to the Lord. Whoa. 
Come on. Yeah, he want to have an album. He'll come up with it. How you change the new creation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were singing that song. We were that song. Right there. Right there. Come on. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, 
Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we dedicate this baby to you. We give them back to you, Father. He said, give it to somebody he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got Mia here. What's your last name? Black. Mia Black. Praise the Lord. Uh, Tyrell's wife here. Man, listen, I'm speechless right now. I, I, can, I can cry if I want to because we got Mia, we got my brother Ty, and they're committing their life to the Lord. They're so young. How old are you, Mia? 19. She's 19 yeah. years old. Listen, God doesn't discriminate. He'll accept anybody at any age, any color, any creed, any nationality. Like the Bible says, there was a multitude that no one yes. can count from every language, every tribe, every nation. You know what I'm saying? Coming together and worshiping him. And this is just a small clip and an example of that happening today. So Mia, congratulations. We're so excited that you're dedicating your life in baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's not going to be easy, but with God, all things are possible. Are here today. Listen, 
Just because you're young doesn't mean you can't give your life to Christ. Let them be an example to you that you can give your life right now if you wanted to. If the Lord can in your heart to do such a thing. So we're just so amazed and so blessed. Anybody else? Anybody else? Getting baptized today? Anybody else? Anybody else get hey Christian, ask them if they want to get baptized. Um, ask them if they want to get baptized. Hey y'all, ask them if they want to get baptized. Y'all should be asking if y'all want to get baptized. Come on down. Y'all want to get baptized. Everybody want to get baptized. Huh? Oh, the price is right. Y'all want to get baptized. Uh, we do a baptism over here. Y'all want to get baptized. Uh, y'all want to come over and get baptized. Uh, anybody want to get baptized today? Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad that are in it. Come on, let's give God some praise again. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Hey, listen, folks, it's important that we hold each other accountable to the commitment and the baptism that we take today. So all the new believers that got baptized, hey, exchange numbers. Keep in contact with them. Ask them how they're doing. Call them throughout the week. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Are you honoring your baptism? Are you remaining faithful to the Lord? Is there anything that I can do for you to help you in your walk and in your journey with the Lord Jesus Christ? We should be doing this. Just because they got baptized today, that doesn't mean we just let them go. Now they're part of the family of God. And it becomes the responsibility of the church to keep in contact with them, to reach out to them, to see if they have any needs. Amen? Amen. So please exchange numbers with one another. Let's continue to hold each other accountable and honor our baptism. Amen? So congratulations to all who are baptized today. August 6, 2023 is your new born again day. Amen. Honor your baptism. Honor this day that you made a commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, brother, you want to lead us out in prayer? Amen, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you today, dear Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for your sovereignty, dear God, yes, and your grace to be able to do this, dear Lord, and enable us to fulfill your commission, dear Lord. We just thank you. We pray over those who are baptized today in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, dear Lord. We will continue to pray for them together as a church family, dear Father. Father, let us continue to preach your gospel, dear Lord. It is all through Jesus, dear Lord. Yeah. And we just thank you so much forever. We will always praise your holy name amongst the nations yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Hey, listen, one other thing. Next week, all those that got baptized, we're going to be issuing certificates of baptism next week. And we'll have a cake and we'll celebrate the decision that you made today. So make sure I get your complete name, the way it's spelled correctly, and make sure that you're at church next Sunday at 1030, 549 Newtown Road, so we can issue your certificate of baptism. Amen? Amen. Awesome, Amen. awesome. Amen. Huh? Nine o'clock what? Yeah, but we're doing a certificate of baptism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're doing at 1030. Oh, at 1030 for our service. For our service. For our service. For our service. Hey, you guys, this concludes our message. God bless you guys. Amen. Amen. Yeah.